Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Solo Challenge. We've been here before, we'll be here again. Let's see what we got. Eco line, easy mode. Uh, I do not have any tea left. That's sad. Um, the other one was what? The other one was space events, guys. Yeah, that's pretty crap. Um, I mean, geez, like this is this is a lot of steel production, which does not help when you're struggling with plants. This this is good. And then you need oceans. It's like this is like a real hard hard choice here. I do like peroxide power. And I do like the mine. The mine's just so much value. And this is value too. Let's see, if we spend 15, that leaves us with 21. We do this, we place an ocean, and we can do it for two steel and then play the mine. I kind of like that. Boop, boop. Oh wait, I didn't grab the plant card, did I? Did I just make a huge mistake? No, I grabbed nitrolytic moss. Okay, and that's what we're looking to do as soon as possible. 16? We got two tier. Oh yeah, that was a heat bump as well. Hey, two income and a steel production and then all the plant stuff. This is not, uh, not hopeless. I mean, these are pretty good. Let's see. I like the power plant too. So, we're only going to build the Grand Escarpment this turn. But in the future, we're looking to get advanced allies going. That makes the asteroids worth more. That basically makes this worth another dollar every turn. We've picked up a lot of cards. I know. I know. But bear with me. Oh, bear with me. Lots of energy income is latent heat, and we need it. Now that's, do we spend this for adaptation technology, which will no doubt help us get our cards out earlier, or do we just get an ocean and get that much closer by actually terraforming? I'm leaning towards actually terraforming. I feel like uh, not terraforming is sometimes a trap. So we'll do that, get our heat bump, get a little bit of stuff back, plants. I kind of want to start over here in the bed of plants. Let's do it. That easy. We don't have oceans yet, so. Is it worth producing an energy this turn despite not having advanced alloys yet? I think so. Let's get it moving. Right, because realistically we could save a steel to pay a dollar in the future, but it's almost worth overpaying in steel, even if you have advanced alloys. Oh, this is painful to see, because I need all three of these cards. And you know I do. You know I need strip mine. And you know we can get peroxide power. And then Ice Asteroid unlocks Nitrolithic, like, GHG is just good. So, do we advance alloys? I think so. We spend nine, and then we'll have five of it next turn, and that lets us play this. Very good. We could even play the Peroxide Power now, but I'm more worried about getting a little bit more income. I don't think next turn we can play um, our strip mining, unless we get a card. We did not get the card. And this is cool and all, but it's not the card. Let's see, this is 15. We can get it this turn. Hell yes, brother. That's so good. We are we're looking sexy now, all of a sudden. Like, we're looking so good. 
like we need uh, to get that oxygen up and we need to get the oceans to really make that plausible but we've got the cards and we've got production uh, you know me I'd love to go IO but I think I've learned my lesson um, where are we dropping these oceans kid more titanium and two cards and then everything else in the future is going to go towards oceans for the trench that's good needs in our science the fact that I can't afford nitrolithic moss is sad but and we'll angle this is hard kind of think the titanium is valuable but we don't have a card for it yet so let's grab two plants okay okay dunka dunka let's go let's go big draw ocean event event ocean that goes well with our media group Media group. I did it. This. It costs us three bucks, but we get three bucks back. Hell yeah. That's enough to get us an ocean, which gets us our nitrolithic moss. But we want to do this. We need to have two plants to play nitro nitrolithic moss. So we're going to go back there, get the two plants. Bam. Um. And then our steel is useless. But next turn, we're going to have 12 steel worth a total of $36. We're hoping for probably like the capital or something, like honestly. Or no, aquifer pumping. That would be phenomenal. And that'd be a god tier grab for us. I like the stronghold. Because the stronghold is income. And it very likely will pay out. I also like this, but we don't have the energy income, clearly. Thing is, if we did another science tag, but regolith eaters is a bad investment. We don't need help with the oxygen. So, sadly, we're going to go for this. Um, I said sadly, but it's not sad. It's, it's fine. Where... I'm gonna black polar dust first. And I'm gonna stronghold. I'm gonna overpay. It's a good spot, right? People like that. And then we'll put a granary here. I really wanna go over the top instead of going down the bottom. And we don't need greenhouses this turn because it doesn't give us enough. We have one, two, three. Three is not enough to get to seven. We have nine dollars. Meh. Pretty meh. We have an ocean in hand and a free ocean, so we're only looking for two more. Man, this is this is good. This is good eats. Big asteroid really puts us on track. Heather is also good. This is particularly good because it gives us four titanium back worth $16. Gives us the heat production. Ain't nobody complaining. I mean, I am complaining in a sense because I'd really rather have more, um, more cards to play. Like, what am I going to do with $17 right now? People have brought up buying more energy production as a valuable investment. We have, you know, five more productions. Five energy for $11, four of it becomes heat. It's not super efficient for the heat bump, but. Nah, I'm gonna hold. I can buy it next turn if I want it. And we'll only be down one heat. And we have enough right now, so. You know. 
Let's see, what do we got? That's energy right there. And that's bushes. I'm I'm into this card. We have a lot of titanium. In fact, we have twenty dollars worth. But we don't have a Jovian. So I am. Well, we don't need the energy that bad. I, I, half of me wants to build this just so I can build this. But we're gonna get a science tag, I promise, just in the future. So I'm gonna do two heat bumps. And that'll give us Heather. Oh, we only need one. Well, two's fine. And then we'll grab a card, because we need cards. And then we have a really good city spot location. What is this, a Jovian? No, no. Yeah, Cupola. Um, I don't think anything's worth selling. Like, if I sold two cards, I could get an energy production, and then I'd use that energy production on Cupola, but nah. We'll get it next turn. For the points. Because I care about points, yeah, yeah. I do, though, is the thing. 11. Space Station, we have a space card. But, got lots of titanium, so it's basically free. Um, no science tag, eh? Like, or Jovian, like this has been a sad, like, pretty sad run. At this point, it's worth building this because standard projects for energy are not as valuable as just getting three energy so let's just get cupola i'm gonna put it here i guess i could have gone for pets we are wealthy enough but i don't want to let hubris take over in fact i have a whole episode about it not about Preventing hubris from taking over, but succumbing to points, points, points. I love points so much. And uh, and that's not always a great play. Turns out this just in. But look at these city positions. I mean, I will always say the eco line is easy mode. What is this? Oh, yeah, okay. We can, we can make some microbes. Yay. Get a little bit of oxygen. Yay. Space station's interesting, but there's no sense in playing it right now because it gives us nothing unless we actually play another space card, which we cannot do. Hmm, generation 12. Honestly, I feel like if they gave us the right cards, we could end it this turn, but here's a space a science and some farming, why not? I don't know why I took the mining card because I kind of have to go out of my way to get to that. Let's start with this. Then this. Then a heat bump. I'm thinking about buying an ocean. I'm gonna build a greenery there. Build the mining it. We're gonna overspend. Really should have gone for a titanium location, but. We're only getting two productions of it, but we got two money back for, for playing that there instead of getting money here. This is like asteroid territory, I think. I was gonna say let's buy an ocean, but let's just heat the planet. Sweet. It's not that sweet. Next turn we can heat the planet twice. That'll give us a total of two oceans because of our event in hand. We wouldn't do, uh, oh, kelp farming. And there's the last two oceans and this gives us money back. Hell yeah. So heat, bam, here.
this you got to do for the monies. We just net $3 from that, or $2. I'll do this one. Gonna net some more money. No titanium to scoop. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 10 bucks for the giant ice asteroid. I'm tempted to put it up here. Card. Let's look at what the card is. Bad card. Let's grab two plants with our last ocean. And we go here. Hell yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna farm and kelp farming. Let's be real. There's no way I'm not. And our last friggin' card is Jovian that I can't play because I don't have another Jovian. We haven't, like, sorry. I was about to say we haven't been fortunate with our card draw. We have been fortunate in our space events that have gotten us hilariously close to finishing in generation 13 to the point where could have potentially like had I actually been clicking this last turn I could have done it this turn and spent 14 there it's not good we're gonna get it anyway so there's no sense actually doing it if you're going for score but if you do like ending generations early could have been done uh, but yeah I'd rather just get some fat cities around them greeneries this is basically free to play. I don't think that will give us anything valuable. Like, we've just gone really weak cards for actually playing. Like, like the capital would have been hilarious there or like a couple other things. But here, look, we'll even, bing, here's your oxygen bump. So we officially won. It's all about just making points now. So it's gonna be city, 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 probably city right here then we go for another city right here um right now we have exactly two greeneries and then we need two plants for another bonus a second bonus greenery in the bonus phase so there's two plants down here that we can go grab so i think i build a city here because we know we're going to build that greenery so that city's worth three points yeah. Oh, almost passed. Would have been heartbreaking. Right there. Then I'll build beside it. Brings us up to 17 bucks. This is just, just pointless. The only thing that could be valuable is if we could build a greenery in such a way that we make enough money to buy another granary, which we can do right here for $4 and then sell both cards. And we're still beside a city, so we're not like wasting our time. Oh, sell patents. One, two. Hell yeah, brother. Pass. You have succeeded. And then let's do greeneries up here. Here and here. Yeah, sure. Look at them apples. We only have five points on cards, but we did get phenomenal points on the board. Because Ecolad, 16 greeneries, 22 point, 21 points on cities, 98 points total. Very solid showing. I think 98 is the average winning score uh, for our playthroughs. Someone had mentioned in the comments of a video before that they normally score around 80. Um, but we know that we definitely go for score attack, score attack, score attack, and we end up falling on our face more often than we should and uh, losing the game. So 
Good to hear the feedback. Had a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching another Eco Line crushing it. So, I'll see you in the next one.